search continues tonight for the person responsible for the death of a 12 year old boy from Skyline. The boy was killed by a stray bullet on Thanksgiving night. The child's family is pleading for information to help investigators solve the case. ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo is joining us now live from police headquarters with the family's message. Laura. An angel's funeral was yesterday, exactly 12 days after he was killed. Now the family members tell me they are still trying to process how this could have happened and why the person responsible has not come forward. Still heartbroken, still waiting for answers. The emotions are still raw for the family of Angel Gallegos almost two weeks after his death. He was an angel that was with us for 12 years. I can honestly say he was meant to be the rock for his mom and his brothers. His family is still desperate for answers. It was Thanksgiving night when the family says a stray bullet went into their backyard, killing the 12 year old. Police are still searching for the person responsible. There's nothing we can do that could have changed that. I mean, they're in the backyard. We're not putting them in harm's way. Wednesday, they teamed up with the nonprofit Mothers with a Message to go door to door in the Skyline neighborhood, passing out flyers in hopes that someone has information about the person responsible for Angel's death. Everybody's been welcoming, opening their doors, letting us know some neighbors weren't here during that time and are just finding out about it. The family also met with DA Summer Stefan, who stopped by the family's home Wednesday afternoon. There is nothing like suffering the pain of a loss and then also suffering the pain of not having answers. Angel's aunt says his parents know that they can't bring back their son, but at least want justice for their child. I just pray that you find it in your heart to help our family get the answers that we need. <coughs> and help us get justice for Angel. Anyone with information is asked to call the San Diego Police Department or Crime Stoppers. It's important to note that these tips can remain anonymous. The volunteers plan on hosting another door to door event in the neighborhood tomorrow. Reporting live from police headquarters, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.